I thought I could do a quick post work pocket dump again, but um, last night I had the Quiet Carry Drift. I really like this knife. I actually was able to get it in a trade. Um, someone had posted in a Facebook group that they were putting this up for trade or sale, and they had just mentioned a few knives that they liked, and I happened to trade the uh, Pina Raptor for it. So that was a knife I just never really carried. It's a really cool knife, but I just never carried. Um, it was the front flipper one. So I offered that up and he sent this because I'd been wanting to try it for a while. And yeah, started my love. And then I ended up getting the black knurled version as well. Um, the reason I like this knife is it's Vanix. I like super steels. I pulled a cuticle, don't worry. I didn't cut myself. Um, but I like uh, stainless steels. This is Vanix and it's just a really good EDC size, plus it's super slim. You've got titanium handles, weight reduction milling in there, and it's on washers, so that's really cool as well. Love a good knife on washers. I just, I really do. Um, bam. The only thing I did to it after I got it, um, I loosened the pivot just a tiny bit, and it's been super smooth ever since. Still no blade play, and easy to wipe off, like I said, for work. And I really like that it's um, deep carry wire clip because when just that's showing out of my pocket, it really doesn't look like much. It's just like a tiny little clip. So really like that. Um, I'm thinking about possibly getting some anno work done. I thought about doing the pivot and screws purple. I don't know, or I might just keep it uh, plain Jane. So, but anyways, I also carried my Grimsmo Saga, all titanium pin, as you can tell, match and carry here, boom. But I like this pin because it's super easy to fidget with and I get to drive people crazy around me because you push down the sliding mechanism, you slide that down, bam, and it just pops right out. So basically I can do that a million times. Um, the only thing is I am gonna change the, the ink that's in here. Um, I can't remember what ink cartridge comes standard with it from their website, but it's just not my favorite. I prefer more of like an ink, um, thinner ink, but still writes well, works well. I love the size. I think it's like five inches overall length. It's just a perfect size for me. It's not too long, not too short. So yeah. Once I replace the ink cartridge in this, I think it's going to be awesome. But still really like it. And they do a really nice stone wash. And then right here, they have their little logo. This one does not have the logo on top, but um, it does have it on the clip. And sometimes they have, uh, they offer it with the uh, logo on the bottom here too. Um, sometimes people ask me, you know, what's a good way to get Grimsmo products? Um, for me, when I was trying to get the stuff I wanted, I would go to their website and click the buy now page. Every day, I would check it every day. I would check the Norseman buy now and the Saga buy now just to see what popped up, um, something I'd like. Um, just because with that product and how much money it is, I, I kind of just wanted to go ahead and get it new. Didn't want to take any risk with secondary, so I just saved it up for it. And then I checked the buy now page every day. But really like these two together. And watch, of course. Um, but I love when a good trade works out. That's something super fun. You know, if you have a knife you never carry and offer it up for trade or, you know, can work out a nice trade, it's awesome. And this knife came in like pretty much perfect condition. I was super happy with the guy, um, that sold it to me because he was honest. He was like, yeah, it's like new in box. And it really was. This is the stone wash blade, um, which is, they do a really good stone wash, stone wash handle, stone wash blade. Um, if I got another one at some point, I would pr I'd probably try their satin out stone wash with satin or something It'd be really cool but i don't need three i think i'm gonna stop at two but it's a really great knife really good for edc i don't think quiet carry gets enough credit um they have the waypoint as well the drift some other models but the drift i feel like is best for edc just makes sense it's on washers stainless steel good to go um and then the only other thing i had in my pockets was this new pin light my old one died so i got this mini one which i like because when it's sitting in my front pocket it's um it doesn't take up a lot of space and 
like that. It's got that warmer light as well. Um, that's not as bad on people's eyes. The only thing is it has a really wide circle circumference, which that's the only thing I would change about it. Um, this is the well tool. I got it off Amazon. I don't know. Um, but the circle's so wide. So when I'm trying to check someone's pupil and come across, I don't, I want it to hit just that one eye. Um, because I don't want to see the other eye reacting yet. I take it across and pull it just to check this one eye, um, make sure it reacts, see the size. And then I come over here and check the other eye to make sure they're equal. Um, and they both do the same thing. So that's the only thing I don't want. I don't like to hit light on the other eye first because then it's a lot for a knife video, right? Because then, um, that's already reacting to the light before I'm showing it again. So that's the only, only complaint about this cool little pin light. Um, this is something I feel like pin lights are cool in, um, bug out bags and stuff like that, or safety bags that you keep in the car. Um, as well, as well as a flashlight, you just never know when you'll need it. Um, it's a really good medical tool and, um, yeah, just, I just like it. Like I said, the only thing I would change is maybe a smaller, circle of light but other than that it's a great size really been enjoying carrying it so here's the full get up that i carried last night there we go i'm curious do you guys like uh, so i mentioned trading um i like it when a really good trade works out um and the night prior i carried my benchmade bug out to work and um that's a knife that i bought in store so do you like when you buy a knife in store or online better um unfortunately for me the knife store i used to go to in my town they stopped having the knives at display there so i order more knives online um and they didn't have a huge selection it was mainly bench maids and some spider coast um zt and stuff but it was so fun for me to buy it in, like in person i just think that um knife stores are awesome when i went to blade show seeing everything in person was so awesome anytime i've bought a knife in person i don't think i've ever resold it or i think i've always just kept it in the collection because i don't know it's just way more fun to me to see it in person you get to check right then and there if the qc is okay um i don't know like i said it just makes it more fun um so what do you guys prefer do you like shopping online browsing for better deals like that thinking about it watching videos or do you like just going in a store seeing what fits your hands um and seeing what you're interested in um i really wish there was a really cool big knife store around me like you know rec or a blade hq store bench made anything i don't know just like a big knife store smoky mountain whatever i think that'd be really cool um but yeah, I don't know. It just got me thinking last night when I was carrying the bug out. Um, I'll try to put a clip in there of the bug out. Um, that's just been one of my favorite knives. And I think it's because I got it in store and was able to check it right then and there. And I don't know. So yeah, curious. In store or online? Hope you guys have a good one. And let me know what you're carrying in the comments.